Yo, what is going on, you dirty deli bird? Today we're playing some games with some Lucario Melmetalization, aka the attacking control deck, um, because we can prevent our opponent from attacking to begin with, with Crushing Hammers and the GX attack of Lucario Melmetal, taking away their energy so they can't even attack us, and then reducing the damage they deal to us, and then healing with Malmana, so making it pretty irrelevant that they even attacked to begin with. And uh, that's all I gotta say. Let's go ahead, let's get into some games. All right, getting into our first one here. We got the Eldegoss start. Pretty much the only bad starter in the deck. We don't play to DNA in this deck because um, it is such a liability. Point of the deck is to kind of reduce damage that our opponent can even possibly do to us. So yeah, the uh, the what's called is kind of just a liability in general in this in this deck. So we don't play it. Do not play the Dene's Acrobike scoop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and guess. I guess it could still be Composition. I was gonna guess Dragapult. Um, that's still my current assumption. Uh, there's a Metal Energy though, so probably Composition or the um composition or what's the other one that it could be adpization i guess you don't really see mew too often in adpization though so uh, i'm gonna assume combo who knows for sure though looks like a uh, rough start so far from our opponent no zation yet so they're going uh out of their way probably to look for a quick ball here off this stellar which if i had to guess my hand not too ridiculously good either actually, i don't even know where i want to go from here with this hand this hand's a little bit awkward there's a net for the jirachi that's not too great. There's the Zacian. They had the Zacian the whole time. I guess they just want to get into a Jirachi, which is fair, actually. They didn't actually overextend too much at all or anything. It looked worse than it was. This kickboard on Mew just isn't that great, I guess. Um, Saucer. Attach. Here comes the Intrepid. Looking for another energy. They did not find it. That's good for us. Now, I have to debate between this Marnie and this Research. Power Plant topped out. I think I'm just going to go... Oh, man. But then we lose a boss. Especially with the Eldegoss and the Active. That doesn't feel great. I'm going to go with the Marnie here. Marnie reduced their hand to by two... Looking for at least a Zation. We did find the Zation. Um, but the rest of the hand, pretty rough. We're gonna get a Crushing Hammer Tails here. Quick ball away the Mellow and Lana. Grab our own Zation. Yeah, we need cards. We need cards. I was thinking about going with the Luke Metal and just attaching, but uh, we have literally zero follow up. Another energy is perfect. Rest of the hand, still a little rough. Uh, but we have an Acrobite to work with to hopefully find ourselves a draw supporter on the next turn. Or at least an energy to respond to their station if they knock out our Eldegoss with their station. What we're really scared of here is our opponent going bo attach, boss, switch, uh, or retreat, or scoop up net. Some way to get the station to the active knockout our station. We basically lose if that happens. Um, yeah, basically no no way to come back at that point, to be honest. It's it's basically a loss. We just lose. The game's over. Uh, if that happens. If our opponent has the boss energy and a way to move the Jirachi, we basically lose. I mean, we could, I guess, you know, quick ball away our top deck, Acrobite can do a research, or quick ball with the Acrobite top deck a research, get the Luke Metal, take all the energy away, or even set up another Zacian and take a knockout. I guess we have zero saucer in our discard pile, so that's also possible. Just kind of unlikely to happen is the main thing here. There's the energy from our opponent. There's a Marnie, though. <sighs> Saved. Um, don't have to worry about the what's it called happening. And we hope kind of that our opponent just kind of actually knocks out our active. That would be pretty good for us if our opponent actually knocks out the Eldegoss. Uh, unless they combo knockout Eldegoss, then it gets a little bit scary, but probably not scary enough where I would still be fine. I think it will be a mistake from our opponent. I think right here they should probably just look to set up another Zacian. Um, and actually probably shouldn't have even committed this energy. Oh, no, they had, they, did they hit that off the Intrepid? I actually forget if they hit that off the Intrepid or not, to be honest. We'll see if they take the knockout here. Um, they have the switch, so they can get to the bench, which is uh, you know, step one. Step two is uh, deciding whether or not they want to here and uh, taking that knockout to the Brave. Then we can respond with our own Zacian and just kind of go from there. We'll see, though. We'll see what they go for. There's a quick ball. They could just go set up another station here. And our response to them setting up another station is to actually just set up another station ourselves. Um, and then we just kind of sit here until one of us draws the boss's orders and boss's chaos station that has energy on it. And then that's kind of the breaking point for both players at that point. Here's the switch, though. So it looks like they're going with the Brave Blade. Like I said, I'm loving it. I like this one right here for us. We get to respond with the Brave Blade. We get to take... They are ahead on the prize exchange, but we got to remove uh, three energy from play, whereas they didn't. And then if they want to, they have to set up another station. But we could also set up another station in response to their station. Um, and we actually have a frying pan for our station. It's going to make it hard for our opponent to knock out our station. We still need to find an energy, I guess. We don't we don't have that energy yet, but there's seven in there. Four acro bikes as well to help us find it. We got the pan to protect our station. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. <sighs> Hit the energy just there at the end. It was getting close. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and primate wisdom the... I think the research at this point. I want to draw some cards if they marty me. Power plant, fine. And attach active and brave blade. Knockout. There's Asian. Two prize cards. And if they marty us, we got the research on top. Actually, see how many more. How many have they used, actually? Hold up. None. Alright. 
or one not none one marnie all right um and this hand i would definitely be i don't know once again i want to keep the bosses around i like if eldegoss was still around i wouldn't be care too much about get his cards but i really don't want to discard this boss to be honest yeah and sometimes we wouldn't even want to bench the zation we benched here because it doesn't have a pan uh but our opponent having zero energy in play make me like they would need attach uh saucer saucer boss switch card and i guess to get one of those off the cell but that's basically five or six cards uh they do have a cell wish to work with which gives them some flexibility into finding one of those or it makes it easier to find one of those but um unlikely to happen so they probably have to go through our active which they could do um they still have their tool scrapper almost every conversation plays a tool scrapper so they can go uh research into the attach saucer saucer tool scrapper knock out my active that's possible unlikely i think we're i think we're i think the station is probably living uh for another turn if i had to bet i would bet on it living not by a whole ton it could definitely get knocked out here it really just comes down to the biggest the hardest card for them to find will be that tool scrapper um double saucer isn't guaranteed either i guess I think especially because we do have this power plant in place still have they have not replaced it um they don't have that extra reach with the dead egg potentially on the turn so yeah f feeling pretty good overall we'll see how it goes though uh, we do want to use luke metal asap we might even go with a one energy luke metal play if we can draw into that i would be definitely fine with doing a one energy luke metal play here to make sure make sure our stations can't be one hit ko'd at this point we've got a crushing hammer here to use got a heads remove an energy uh, i'm just going to attach to the bench i think and then play marnie we don't have any energy in the discard pot, so we can't attack with luke metal there is the luke metal we did not find a what's it called though but i think that's fine go here grab a Chirachi. Uh, do it again grab a switch so we did draw it the Luke Metal play. Bench the... Oh, that's Primate Wisdom, this energy for the Intrepid Sword. Got another Marnie. Bench Jirachi. Ooh, I almost just don't want to bench the Luke Metal yet. Yeah, because what it could happen is they could Great Catcher hit it and then Boss KO it. I a lot of energy. Yeah, I don't want this to get hit, though, basically. I don't want this thing to get hit. I'm just going to go into this Intrepid Sword. Grab uh, both energy, yeah. That's fine. Marty, then once again, once again, we hit that crushing hammer hand, so they need a lot if they are going to knock out my... I could have switched to the Jirachi, actually, and not had a Zacian in my active, but them actually knocking out Jirachi... I don't know, I'm kind of living off of this frying pan, but maybe that's a little bit too greedy, because if they get the, the blower here, it'd be rough. But if they get that knockout on the Jirachi, then they just have to hit one hit KO one of our Zacians uh, with combo to win, so I don't want that to happen. I'm pretty sure... I guess they could not be playing combo, but I'm pretty sure they're playing combo. They got Acrobikes and Nets. I mean, I guess it could be a mirror match... I'm, I was getting strong vibes that it was combo. It's still probably combination to be honest. Um, I could, yeah, I could have switched into my Jirachi, I guess, and Seller Wish for the turn, get another card to work with. But then, like, like I said, KO Jirachi. But then I guess I KO them back, and then them to pull off combo knockout again is pretty rough. Maybe I should have switched into Jirachi and got a Seller Wish. Um, my idea by leaving this inactive is just that it's going to be really hard for them to get a knockout. They got to get, you know, a Saucer, an Attachment, the Scrapper still to knock it off they just hit into this i'm feeling in it like we're in a really good spot um not as good of a spot though if they knock this out so maybe maybe i should have just uh chilled i don't know now i'm kind of torn on if i should have just like left jirachi in the active and chilled with that instead pretty torn on that actually that that choice there we'll see how the rest of the game goes and see what uh see what happens i guess i feel like i'm definitely gonna switch next turn i guess so we could just attack and knock out the active I mean, this is where we definitely want the boss's orders because we can like boss up knock out the station so our top deck here is a big deal if we get like something like an escape board or another switch you can switch into jirachi stellar wish look for another switch or the escape board um look for that knockout on on their station if they do just chill on the bench again and intrepid sword which they very well might actually at this point is just chill on the bench and intrepid sword uh because it makes sense that. i guess the, the luke metal play wouldn't have been that good there's the scrapper now i'm a little bit scared <laughs> now i'm a little scared now i'm a little scared uh, they get the knockout on this for two prize cards, and they can knock out my Oranguru or my Jirachi to win the game, actually, which is, like, really scary with combo. Um, they do still need another switch card, an energy for turn, and a saucer, but it's possible. Um, not, not too ridiculous at all. They have three saucer left. The switch card, they probably already have one in hand. There's the attachment for turn. Who knows? Maybe it'll just be an intrepid sword and chill, though. There's the scrap. Getting rid of my frying pan. Now when they knock out this, they could go boss combo knock out either of my one prize pokemon that's a little bit scarier i probably i probably should play this a little bit differently to be honest yeah i probably should have left the jirachi in the active it's pretty hard for them to do anything when the jirachi's in the active on that turn um yeah it's pretty hard for them to make a play into a, uh, a jirachi in my active there now we're gonna have to go with the luke metal gx attack on the zation um kind of forcing the combo on one of my one prizers um and then our game plan is just gonna be able to boss knock out with this zation when they go to set up another zation 
and that's uh that's gonna be our game plan from there yeah that'll be it that'll have to do actually yeah. going to the luke map i guess they could whiff with like they just did and uh <laughs> then we're in a we're in a pretty good spot once again now we're hoping a top deck boss uh boss would be sick here crushing hammer not bad especially with the heads once again pressuring those energies um, I, once again i don't want to put this in play Switch now. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Luke Metal around though. I wanna keep it around. Oh, quick ball. I think we should go with the Marnie here. Yeah, Marnie. Once again, reducing their hand size. So I wish. Get a metal frying pan to put on one of the Zations. We could switch uh, GX attack here for one. I don't think I want to. Once again, I don't want to put this in play yet because I could get comboed out. So I'm gonna put a frying pan on one of the stations. Just attach nowhere. Yeah, because attaching to the Luke Metal means they can bring it up, hit it. So they have like, three saucer left, which is a lot of saucers. I suppose on one of the stations. And then I think just intrepid. Yeah, just intrepid. Got some saucers, got some stuff. Now they need a boss play if they want to take a, re a, a reasonable knockout this turn. They need a boss play to happen. So I'm still feeling pretty good. Yeah, now, they need to, now they need to attach boss. They're running out of energy, actually, this way. They had three saucers left. They got eight down. They probably play 11 or 12. I'm thinking probably 11 with the Swell, the Mew, and the Hoopa. Probably not playing 12 basic metals. Could be, though. Um, yeah. They basically... I feel like they have to Brave Blade one of my stations. If they don't Brave Blade one of my stations this turn, I think we'll, we'll probably win. And we'll see. Once again, we'll see, but it's, it's feeling pretty good for us if they don't. We'll feel at least GX attack, probably with Full Metal Wall on the loop the zation but we can actually just knock out their zation with our zation probably and if we whiff the boss we can just go for the uh full metal wall on the act eh, i don't even know if i want to. i would probably just chill again until until i find boss yeah i'd probably just chill until i find boss yeah i'd probably just chill until i find boss i don't know we'll see i'll probably gx attack if they knock out one of my stations i'm definitely gonna gx attack them though because i can't have them being able to just bring up one of my stations and knock it out can't let them just be able to do that so Here's a saucer. Two saucers left. What is in the hand? It is the Dedene. Um, yeah, Dedene's pretty good here, actually. Digging for that boss. Probably already have a switch card. Like I said, switch card's not that hard for them to come by at all. So it's just going to be, do they draw into the boss is going to be the big question. They have, what, one or two, probably two bosses orders left. Here comes the Stellar Wish. Do they hit? That is a net. Switch card, switch card is definitely the easier card to have uh, here for sure. What do they got? They got anything? Something? Nothing? What are we looking at? If we get a boss here, we basically just win the game, actually. Because we knock out this station, and then we have a station set up to KO station. So there's pretty much no way for our opponent to win if we get boss off our Stellar Wisher. They have the boss. Okay, our station's going down. Um, the other one has the metal frying pan though, so I might just swing with my Zation and not even worry about it. I might bench Luke Metal, Saucer Saucer attached to it. Um, but then just attack with my my Zation with the uh this Zation right here. How many switch do I have left? We could Primate Wisdom a switch on the deck. Actually, we could uh, saucer twice to Luke Metal, and then they on the their next turn. Well, this is where I'd wanna we have a reset stamp in the deck, actually. We do play a reset stamp. We'd have to find that, reset them to two. Very unlikely they'd be able to set up this last station, especially if I like find a crushing hammer and like hit a heads or something. Um yeah, it's feeling pretty good. I'm liking I'm liking our situation still. Cause they would have to combo and have a boss. Their last boss to KO one of these guys here on the bench. Here comes the scoop up net. Picking up the Mew. That makes me think they have an escape board for the Jirachi, which makes sense, but we want to clear off a bench space, it looks like. Um, I guess if combo happened this turn, that would be a little bit rough for us. Uh, yeah, that'd be a little bit rough for us if combo happened this turn, because then they would just need a... Uh, uh, it'd be a little bit more annoying, but actually not that much worse. Yeah, they had the second board. Yeah, here comes Zation. I think. I assume. We'll see. I'm out of Marnie, so we have to go with the research here, and then hopefully we find our reset stamp if it isn't prized. Stamp them low, because um, they'll have like a 7-8 card hand here, or 7 card hand here, 6-7 card hand here if they play it on anything else, probably. Here we go. Brave Blade coming in. Knockout. They're down there, Scrapper. Right, yeah, Scrapper. I mean, they could play two Scrapper, but they probably don't. I'm going to play like they don't. Um, check the discard pile one last time. All right. Start by setting up Jirachi. Draw for turn. Crushing Hammer. Heads. Very good. Going to go Primate Wisdom. A uh, switch on top of the deck. 
There's a, another research. All right, so we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna metal saucer to the Luke metal. Metal saucer, the Luke metal. I have a switch guaranteed on top of my deck. I'm gonna attach to my active Jirachi because I might want a hard retreat to the Jirachi, depending on what I research into here. There's the reset stamp. Hit him with the reset stamp. They could play reset stamp, so I'm gonna throw this power play in play so it's no longer in my deck. I'm gonna play the Acrobike, grab the Metal Energy, and Metal Saucer to the Luke Metal, and then Hard Retreat the Jirachi. If I'd gotten the Escape Board, I could have like used Stellar Wish there. And then Brave Blade. We do not have the boss's orders yet. We still have two bosses in our deck. We've been keeping around for a while. Purposely not playing research earlier in the game, like I mentioned, so we don't lose our boss, because they're great in the late game. Um, Opponent needs two prize cards, though. It's getting close. It's getting close. We don't have that boss. We need to get that boss. We got the escape board off the prize card, which is great, though, because that means we can switch Stellar Wish next turn, uh, reset the Brave Blade off the switch, and don't have to go, like, switch or treat. If we had boss in hand, we could have gone switch or treat the Jirachi, or even the Luke Metal at this point, because it has three energy. But now that we have the uh, escape board, switch, Stellar Wish, retreat, go from there. Um, our opponent could win this turn, though. They could have, like, Saucer, Saucer, Attach, Stellar Wish boss and already have the Drachi Prism prized without having put it there. And then, uh, yeah, our opponent would win then. They have what? They have eight here, but they have two saucers left. So they have plenty of energy left. And yeah, no boss. So unless they play two tool scrapper, which I've personally never seen in conversation before. So I don't expect it. I don't think it's happening. Um, you know, so they have two tool scrapper. Round one. Give me a second one. We should be good. We should be pretty much locked up here. Um, we just need to find our pretty much locked up to have an extra turn. We don't win yet Pretty much locked up to have an extra turn and um, Look for our boss, which once again, we've been saving them this whole game at this point uh, Waiting waiting around to use them. I think they're both in there Purposely not using our researches to make sure we have our bosses later on especially once the Elder Goss left like I said And uh, we'll see there's a quick ball. There goes the Mew finally Probably just gonna grab them. Oh, there's the Drachi Prism finally. All right. Do they have the combo? And then from there, uh, yeah, there's no way they can win this. And the second Scrapper. Second Scrapper is the only way they can win this turn. Second Scrapper. If not, I'm sure they're looking for the boss for the following turn to uh, bring up the Oranguru or the Jirachi and take that out. Yep, there goes combo. I'm sure mind doing that. How many net do they have left? Three. Um, so we probably don't even want to knock out. If we whiff the boss, we don't want to knock anything out. Because if they can't find their last net, if they put anything else on their bench, they'd be actually struggle to get the uh, the win next turn. So we only we only want to knock out the Zacian or the DNA. So if we whiff, we're just gonna intrepid sword with the Zacian in our active. Uh, they do have the boss in their hand. We'll see if they actually bench anything else. They probably won't. Or they shouldn't. Um, because then I can make that play myself. Where I just don't attack for the turn and just kind of pass to my opponent. And then uh hope for the best. They're thinking, I'm sure they're debating what they want to leave in the active. Gonna end up with the Mr. Arm. Once again, one another thing, I just don't have to knock it out. And then hope they kind of don't have a switch card, but they have two switch and a net left. So it's kind of like, they should do off this Intrepid Sword with this big of a hand. Likely they have one of the uh, the Switch cards to work with. They also have a Primate Wisdom to work with. Yeah, they'll probably have one of them. Three left. They'll have a six card deck after they top deck for turn. And then Primate Wisdom. So they'll technically have like... Oh, they're actually netting right now. Netting the Oranguru. Uh, I guess maybe Primate Wisdom mean a energy on top to guarantee the energy this turn. One less switch card to work with, though. So, once again, we don't have to knock it. But if they get two energy on the Zacian this turn, then they can just hard retreat the Mr. Mime as well, I guess. That becomes an option. Attach for turn. And then I assume, yeah, Trepid Sword into the energy. Yeah, so this means they can they could hard retreat the Mr. Mime at this point. All right, so that works as well. They don't have to find a switch card if I like Marnie to stamp them again. All right, switch to Jirachi. We also have another switch in the deck that we could use uh, if we whiff the boss. But I was pretty sure we are getting the boss. Seven card deck. Our last two cards would have to be the two bosses. Um, yeah, not happening this time. Our bottom two cards would have to be our two bosses' orders. It's possible. Uh, especially on our opponent's side. We could have prized one of them, right? One of our bosses could be prized. And, uh, yeah, one of them could have been prized, so it would just be, like, one on the bottom two. Wouldn't have been that ridiculous, actually. But then we could have got the fourth switch, I believe, which was in the deck. And then that fourth switch could have got us another shell, which one less card in the deck would have been that much easier. And we get this first dub in a Zacian matchup up against the combo Zacian. All right, getting into another one. Uh, we are going second. Uh, opening hand's pretty good, though. I say a really solid opening hand. We might lose the tool scrapper to the research, which is the only kind of unfortunate part here. We got the attach, the pan, the crushing hammer, an acro bike plus the top deck to work with. Uh, yeah, tool, losing the tool scrapper would be the um, only unfortunate part. Uh, 
potential uh, thing, but we are up against Baby Blam, so not that big of a deal. There's no big key tools in this matchup. Sometimes they play one escape board. Sometimes they play zero escape board, actually, um, and it's usually only one. And there's no other tools. Besides. And there's a escape board, so it's probably coming down on turn one, which means he will be able to get value out of the tool scrapper. So that's pretty cool for us right there. Um, and then we're just gonna see. this is a tough matchup. It's a tough matchup. We do play a reset stamp. We do play power plant. One of the things Baby Blounds fears is that power plant reset stamp combo. Um, less feared against com or uh, Luke Metalization compared to like, something like the um, Dragapult or even other decks that try and play to beat Baby Blounds with it. But we'll see what we can uh, see what we can do with it. And they got a pretty good start here. Yeah, the double Jirachi flowing already for them. Um, and yeah, to get something like the Azation in play and use a Trepid Sword or something, they'll be in a pretty good spot. Another net is kind of them just repeating Stellar Wishes, though, so that's not a, it's too ridiculously good for them. But there's the Quick Ball, probably going to grab themselves a Zation, maybe even a Dedene and Dede change, but probably not the Dede. That's a little bit aggressive. Yeah, there's the Zation. Here comes the Intrepid Sword. Get some more cards to work with for the following turn. That yeah, sounds pretty good to me. I'm sure it sounds pretty good to them. Yeah, there's the Intrepid Sword. So Scrapper, get that value. Rest of the hand, a little bit rough. We have this crushing hammer. They didn't attach an energy, or not a little bit rough. A little bit of lack of Pokemon. That's what we're looking for. We want some more Pokemon to work with. Uh, not too rough of a hand. It's just a decent hand. Um, got a quick ball. Gonna quick ball away the uh, crushing hammers. Get a Jirachi to work with. I think. Yeah, Jirachi. Attach, pan, switch, scrap the skateboard. Get the value out of that, which is great. And that value is a pretty big deal, actually. Uh, it's pretty nice, I should say. Not that big of a deal. It just feels nice to get that value. Um, let's. I'm. I'm thinking about what I want to do here. Only have that one boss left. I'm gonna quick ball the crushing hammer because I want to acrobike into an energy actually, so I can like primate with it on top. I want to thin out the uh, Orangaroo here. Um, I'm also kind of hoping. I, this makes me like want a Stellar Wish first. I think I'm going to actually. Get that Marnie for sure to try and save the Eldegoss for boss later. Uh, that's the big thing. And then my Acrobite. Try to Acrobite into an energy. Got a Metal Saucer. Metal Saucer. <laughs> oh, no. That's not that great. Um, don't want to Primate Wisdom anymore. Because if we Primate Wisdom, we might draw to an energy, which means Intrepid Sword doesn't hit an energy. A hey, two energy. All right. Got a little bit saved there. Because we're in a spot where I was feeling... Uh, we just lost a Saucer on a Saucer. Got two Saucer in hand now. I'm not a huge fan of the Double Saucer in hand right now either. Because we want saucers, and then when we Marnie, the saucers are going to go on the bottom of the deck. We're almost definitely going to Marnie to try and save the Eldegoss to have an out to boss. Because we want to be able to chase stuff like our Potentation or Oracorio if it comes into play. Stuff like that. Uh, because we want to knock those things out. We don't want our opponent to be able to sit with those uh, those two prize Pokemon in play. So we want to knock those out. We can only knock those out if we have uh, boss's orders. So we already down one. If we also lost the Eldegoss, we'd have one boss left in deck. And um, it's not good. So, yeah, probably going to Marty next turn. Also, save, at this point, it saves double saucer so, as well. So, almost 100% going to Marty next turn. Here comes that welder from our opponent onto their Blown. And if they don't do anything for... If they don't knock out our active this turn, we can actually just use an, get another station and use Intrepid. So, we're fine, which is kind of chilling. Um, yeah, we're definitely just fine with chilling if our opponent just kind of chills themselves. Like, uh, either they whiff the attack or they just kind of don't want to attack yet. Um, we can just chill. We do have to be afraid of boss's orders, I guess, at that point. So maybe we would play a little bit more aggressive, but I don't know. Maybe just like be like, all right, you have to have it. Force him to have it. Um, Blounds have been playing bosses recently. It is really good in the deck. Um, there's an ultra space uh, coming out from our opponent. We like to see the stadiums come out as soon as possible. That way our power plants are that much more effective as the game uh, progresses. So it's pretty good for us overall to just kind of see that happen. Um, yeah, look at the knockout on this Jirachi. We don't really even need to use Luke Metal. We do have the Luke Metal in the hand. But in this matchup, we don't really use Luke Metal too often. It's like, okay. Uh, the one problem with that as well is it can get Great Catcher. So you gotta be careful of that. But like, using a late game Full Metal Wall to take away some more energy can be a pretty big deal. I'm gonna try and run him out of energy that way. So Mal and Lana. I think I'm gonna Quick Ball that away to get a, another station into play. Don't want to whiff energy attachments. Put that down. And then, uh, yeah, Marnie. Didn't really want to save anything with the Prime Wisdom. There's that energy attachment. There's a Jirachi as well to put into play, so that's great. Gonna Primate Wisdom the Switch. It'll be a great top deck. Quick Ball, not gonna play it yet. And Break Blade. Got the Switch reset with that Switch top deck, with the Switch we just put on top of our deck. So that's great. Uh, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. We gotta hope they kind of whiff an attack at some point. If they hit this attack, we can still respond with a Break Blade. And then once again, 
Hope they whiff an attack. Yeah, a lot of it comes down to us hoping our opponent whiffs an attack, really. Because if they just hit knockouts every single turn, they're just going to win the game. The price trade is just more favorite. Right? We're attacking with two prize Pokemon. They're attacking with one prize Pokemon. We lose the game. Uh, Top of Fini is pretty nice in this deck for this matchup. Um, it's like one thing that could be added in to make the matchup a little bit better. But uh, it doesn't flip it that much, it feels like. Especially when they get like an early knockout on a Jirachi anyways, uh, then they knock out the Feeny. Or if they just, if we don't, if they don't knock out an early Jirachi and then they get the knockout on the Feeny, they just like set up to go into Burst GX anyway. So it didn't really do a whole lot, it feels like a lot of the time, but um, can be helpful sometimes. This is a tough matchup, it's a tough matchup. Come the Wishes, there's another Welder. We got the Orcorio set up. It's another two prizes we can try and pick off at some point. But we're not in a ridiculously good spot to pick off prizes yet. So we don't even have another Zacian set up for next turn yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're kind of just missing a Saucer. Got the Energy Attachment return. Saucer and a Switch card to move the Jirachi. Draw Supporter would be what we're looking for off this Jirachi. If we whiff, can go for that um, Marnie off the Eldegoss if we have to. We don't want to. But uh, if we whiff uh, draw Supporter. We might open up our turn with actually Eldegoss into Marnie to be honest try and maximize our draw into the saucer and the switch card save the Stella we should try and find one of those there's that welder they use the flint they've used the welder if I had to guess I would say they probably have the knockout on station uh, we'll see oh they split the energy on the blounds though maybe they did what they did with okay okay we've got a chance now we've got a chance Let's see what we can do on our turn so I'm gonna switch. Now I'm gonna Stellar Wish. Got the stamp, got a research. I think I'm just gonna go for the research here. Yeah. Crushing hammer. Nice heads here. Uh split the yeah, keep the energy split still. Quick ball. I think I just grab another Zation, to be honest. If we can get a switch off this turn, we're going to want that third station. All right, grab another station. Hoping to find a um, skateboarder switch. There's the switch. There's the stamp. We don't want this to use the stamp yet, though. So, switch. I'm just going to take this. We need to take prize cards at some point. So, um, probably wisdom. The I guess the Marnie for right now. I don't think they'll. I mean, they won't play Marnie on us or anything. But all right, Brave Blade. Knock out Jirachi. And yeah, okay. We got a chance. We need to find a power plant still. Um, definitely why we didn't want to reset stamp yet. Because if they, we reset stamp, they just still have access to Oracorio, which is just a, a lot of cards that they can see. And then probably very unlikely for our, our thing to have done anything. So, not worth it. Um, got that Brave Blade off, though. That was important. We got that switch into the switch. We only have, we have zero switch left, actually. Uh, in the deck, there's one left in the prize cards. We have an escape board in the deck. We're out of Mallow and Lana's as well, but we get Eldegoss for one if we need to reset a Brave Blade. Um, yeah, not too bad of a spot, actually. Not too bad. We're going to hit him with the stamp next turn and hopefully get into a power plant here. We're just going to send up the Zacian V. We're not even going to. We're not going. Well, we're talking about Marty, actually. Our supporter drop. So I guess we saved this. Uh, unfortunately, the stamp goes to the bottom of the deck. We could Primate Wisdom the stamp on top, actually. Yeah, I think we have to Primate Wisdom the stamp. The problem here is that they can, like, attack with a Blown on the following turn and bench the Blown GX. Why well, I kind of want to stamp this turn. But I guess it has to be Marty this turn because uh, I saw a draw supporter on the top deck. We could stamp and not play a draw supporter, I guess. But uh, we need to find a power plant. So we kind of have to, I guess. Yeah. It's not looking good. Not looking good. We'll see what we can do, though. They might start whiffing. They are down a lot of energy. That's four. There's a crystal. Uh, that's their first crystal, though. That's, uh, okay, they have three crystal and all of their energy retrieval left. Yeah, three crystal and yeah, two to four energy retrieval. That's how many are played. Two to four, somewhere in that range. Um, yeah, two to four energy retrieval. All right, there's an energy retrieval that has to be used. So one crystal, one energy retrieval down. And then, I mean, they said it's card 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12 energy in play. I mean, the ones on the stuff lot are going to be utilized, though. We'd like them all to be in the discard pile, but they're not. So, yeah, here comes that Fireball Circus. It's been a pretty efficient game from our opponent. I, this is, we're going to lose. <laughs> we're almost definitely going to lose. Hey, seven cards left in deck. Uh, like, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards in hand. They're drawing two more off the prize cards. They have 19 cards total uh, between their hand and their deck. 
And uh, they still have three crystal left. Sheesh. All right. Go Zation. Give me a miracle. Attach. Saucer. Marnie, give me a power plant. I could have benched the other Jirachi there. I actually probably should have. No, not even close to a power plant. All right. Crushing Hammer. That's a heads, though. It's another energy they can't work with off that bench guy. Metal Saucer to our bench station. Primate Wisdom and Energy. Maybe get a, fry a frying pan at the very least would have also been very good. There's a research for next turn. So next turn... We hope that they don't they aren't able to put a blown with an energy in play this turn. So we're hoping they can't put the big blown. They can even if they knock us out with this baby blown, we hope their big blown with energy does not get the knockout. Um now, now we can't reset our zation. It's our last switch. I was hoping to draw this switch when we knocked out this next blown to reset our zation and then boss knock out one of these after we knock out this blown. But that's not possible anymore. Which isn't great. Hmm. Yeah, it's not possible. Yeah, frying pan would have been very good here at the very least. We didn't hit the uh, the power plant, but there's heat factory in place, so that's one less stadium they have to counter power plant. But a frying pan to force you know extra energy out of our opponent would have been great, meaning it's that much harder for them to pull off the uh, the to get a Cephalon GX with an energy in play because they have to commit all the energy for the turn for this guy to actually even take the knockout or this guy to take the knockout on myization. Did not happen that way. Here comes the Dance of Tribute from the Oracorio. Three more cards after the Dead A Change. Here come the Crystals, finally. Just needs two of them, though. Um, or a Crystal and a Retrieval also works. We didn't get the Frying Pan. Frying Pan was a big deal there, actually. Um, Power Plant actually wouldn't have done anything. We see they had the Heat Factory. But Frying Pan would have been very nice. And then hopefully a... Uh, yeah. Well, maybe they won't get the stuff on GX and play with an Energy this turn. Maybe. They're also out of Welder, so that's like a draw card they don't have access to anymore. Just a net. All right, sure. How many switches do they have left? They are down. Three switch. Plenty of fire energy left. I was thinking, man, maybe bring up the Zacian and trap it. They deck out, but I don't think that would happen, uh, to be honest. Unless they only play three switch. They play four. A lot of people play four scoop up net three switch. They are out of Welder. We could theoretically bring up the Zation. Oh, there's the bleak blonde. Now what I'm scared of is them. Wait, they're out of welder. That's four welder gone. They can't attack with baby blonde this turn. Hold up, hold up. That's okay though. They're going with the burst. I didn't even realize that. I was like, I'm talking through all this stuff and I'm like, wait a second, they just can't. Uh, <laughs> they can't, you know what I'm saying? Will they hit here off the burst? It's a net. So what are they missing here? They don't have any bench space to work with right now. They're down three net. If I went switch boss up the Zation, I don't have boss. We could switch, but we could boss up the Zation though. Would we just win? They're about to deck out. I don't have a two prize in my active. Because otherwise, theoretically, they could go like... Mewtwo or Palpad sell which into it win the game. So if we just go but What if they have boss and then I need to knock this out before they boss knock out my dude because boss is pretty good mm. Now I'm kind of I'm kind of torn on what to do here because they could have boss themselves Ah oh, man wait three six eight Nine All right, I'm gonna attach here switch here Research I really want to get that reset stamp take away their options. There's a pan skateboard guaranteed the reset stamp as well if i do this i think we have to go this way because they could have a boss I, th I i personally play boss in my i think boss is insanely good in baby lounge so respect my own opinion here i guess play this power plant reset stamp but we could have theoretically just looked for just put a one prizer on our active we could still pass well then they would knock it out no then they don't deck out anytime soon all right can't do that anymore it's a swing let's save the elder goss on top i mean they probably don't this is once again like to play around marnie but i mean they don't play marnie right yeah I'm all right brave blade knockout they have no welder um they probably play mewtwo or palpad though but we got power plant in play stops the oracorio they're down their two stadiums they probably only play the two that one and um there's another one in here 
that one. They do have to play a welder here. They do have enough energy to win the game, though. Like, if they just have their last two crystals, there's the Mewtwo. So, Mewtwo's going to put a welder on top. They're going to Stellar Wish into the welder. And then it comes down to, do they hit their energy recovery cards? They don't have very many cards left in their deck, so they have a pretty good chance at pulling it off here, actually. Um, and there's the Mewtwo. So I could have, like... Man, I had some different options there. I could have got cheesy. I could have, like, tried to bring up the Zacian and leave Adrachi in my active. I think that would have been actually pretty decent. Um, then I kind of have to hope they have they don't have their last switch. Hey, okay, it worked out. It worked out this way as well. Pretty crazy game. That was actually pretty insane. Um, what we doing up with the dub in the end here? Our opponent, uh, they didn't even really get that aggressive early on. They just kind of, they, they had so many energy recovery stuff later on. And then it didn't, uh, didn't matter. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, give the video a like. If you're in the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And peace.